All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Brother Shapai, you're coming at you again with another quick lesson to the spirit and power, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, today's lesson is really, it was a stem or two that I had, a vision I had, really. Um, uh, my children, they was playing, uh, cause I got hardwood in, in my house. They was playing on the floor, but the floor, it's going to sound weird. <laughs> so just allow me to be weird real quick. But my floor appeared to be like galaxies. It's hard for me to explain it. And I'll explain it to you in the best way I can. And it looked like my, my children was just running around playing playing on top of the, the universe, if you will. And I said I sat back, I said, this shit raw as hell. I didn't know my wife said no. I you know, I ain't telling nobody shit what's going on in my head. <laughs> Cause I know that the similar tool is for me. And I know the Lord said they do a lesson on it. And that was the whole point of the whole similar tool. That our children is going to walk on the universe. And that's literal as far as our children, not not only our children, we as Israelites, we're about to rule the galaxies, man. I literally, you know, I literally was watching my children literally play on top of the galaxy. That's what that's how my whole at one point in time my whole floor just looked like fucking the Milky Way, different galaxies, planets, shit like that. And my children were just running across it, playing, you know, playing on it. You know, and I knew, you know, I knew the, I knew the vision was for me, for me to do this lesson, because that's indeed what we're about to get, brothers. All right, we are about to go to the great beyond. All right, the, the, the we we are about to see the glory of the heavens that nobody has really explored. Esau himself, he couldn't do that shit. This nigga can't get past the Van Allen belt, but we. We, man, they said the Lord stretched the heavens like a curtain, man. We are about to do amazing, fantastical, yeah, and that's not even a word, but I'm saying fantastical <laughs> things. And the Lord is going to give us that power, that rulership, because that's really, you know, that was really the vision. Walking on the universe is really us having rulership over everything in existence. And it was heavy as hell. To see my children fucking just walking on it like it was nothing. That was that, man, that was that, that was a heavy a vision for me. And it took me a couple of days to do this lesson. But I said, you know, through the spirit, I, I'm, I'm going to do that lesson. It was heavy as hell. And as small as my new, as you may think it would, just my floor and shit like that or whatever. <laughs> you know, I was, I was heavy in the spirit during the time, but... Man, that, it was heavy. So I'm going to read this uh, scripture. Isaiah 49 and 20. The children which thou shall have, after thou hast lost the other, shall say again in thy ears, this place is too straight for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. All right? Because at a certain point in time, a, the land of Israel, this earth, Eden, hey, <laughs> we're gonna have to stretch our legs. All right, we're about to grow a glorious kingdom. And I'm talking about seeing our great, 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 great grandchildren on shit like that. That that's how man you talk about generations and generations and generations. We about to see that in real time. And we're gonna know all their names. We, hey, it's going to be heavy, but nonetheless, all right, because, you know, the Lord, he destroyed us, you know, we got kicked out of our land and all that. So now, you know, we're getting ready to get it back and not only getting our land back, we're about to get much more than that. So let me, let me continue the scriptures. Verse 21, then shalt thou say in thy heart, who have begotten me these? 
seeing I have lost my children and I am desolate, a captive, and we're moving to and fro because we went through all, you know, Lord, hey, he put them plagues on us. Hey, we had to get our judgment. And who have brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. The, uh, these were had, it's like here. I was left alone. These, where had they been? Like, where were they? You know? But obviously, hey, this is the Lord is, is giving us our kingdom back. And he's going to, man, the Lord is going to let us see all our seeds. If, if you get what I mean. Like how, you know, Jacob had, it was 70 of them. But it's going to get more glorious than that. All right? It says, um. Verse uh, 22, it says, Thus saith Yahweh thy power, behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people, and they should bring thy sons in thy arms and thy daughters to be carried upon their shoulders. Hey, that's the type of glory we, it's about to get real ancient. Put it that way. It's about to get real ancient. And it's going to be glorious. Because the technology we're going to have all types of, man, it really is just going to be the spirit. Listen, the spirit is the technology this man on earth just don't know about. It's going to be fantastical, if you will. That's my word of the damn week, fantastical. <laughs> and that's not even the word, but the water y'all about shim y'all shy. It's a word now. <laughs> but um, it says, um, thy daughter should be carried upon thy shoulders, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers. And their queens, thy nursing mothers. Hey, so all the, the 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 people that's deemed to rule this world, nah, they gonna have, man, you niggas gonna have to take care of our, our children, babysit, nigga. You know. And it's really us having control over them. Honestly, we gonna have that rulership over them, man. You know, and it says. They shall bow down. Hey, they're going to be true servants in the kingdom of heaven, man. Because they going to know y'all fucked with the bloodline of heaven. I, I'm going to say it like that. The bloodline of heaven. You fucked with the heavens. And I'm talking about the kingdom of Israel. So therefore, you guys have to do this. But like, hey, like the scriptures say, hey, after that hardcore, hey, slavery, at Esau be exterminated, hey, Y'all still gonna be in servitude, but it, it, it's gonna be cool. We, hey, everything is gonna be paradise, man. You, you Gentiles are gonna be happy when we get in rulership. I know that for a fact. But you're gonna be servants, and that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Tupac shit. Anyway, back to the scripture. It says, um, they should bow down. To thee with their face towards the earth, and look up the dust of thy feet, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for uh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait on me. We a. Hey. So the things the Lord is about to give us in the kingdom, and then I precept it because the Lord said in my Father's house. Mm. Here I go, John fourteen and two. In my Father's house are many mansions. Now, I'm stopped there. The Lord said, having this is thrown on earth is his footstool. <laughs> so let alone his house. like. <laughs> but he says, in my father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have not told you. Hey, Yahweh Shai ain't going to lie. He knows these things. I go to prepare a place for you. Man, the heavens are, pre hey, the heavens are prepared for the heavens. Put it that way, man. It's about to get real Futuristic. And indeed, that's why I see my children walking on mansions. Different galaxies, different planets, different. So, man, the shit was raw as hell. I laughed, I smiled. Because the shit was raw as hell. And I kept it to myself. I leaned my ass back on the couch and said, I'm going to do a lesson on that, Lord. And I, you know, the Wild T. How about you, Shah, for showing me little similitudes and shit like that? Because I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm nobody, like, at all. But the Wadi, how about you, man? I'm for certain things you showed me, man. Certain visions, you know. 
Because I, you know, I, I truly believe we're the prophets, and the prophets had visions back then, and in, in 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 the day, and those visions they seen, they they did lessons on. Put it that way, <laughs> they did epistles, they, certain things like that. So th this is just me doing that in that form because th that was a that was a heavy sight the Lord showed me. So with that, hey, I pray this was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Karkadash. Double honor to the old apostles of uh, Great Millstone and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Ba ba ba. I don't forgot how to start this shit. <laughs> oh, bear with me. <laughs>